Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all keeping well. Today's video is all about shoes. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at my updated shoe collection because I've recently added in a few new purchases and I'm gonna have to be honest here and say that when it comes to my personal style and how confident, polished and put together I feel, the single biggest contributing factor to that has been my footwear. So for the last two and a half to three years, I've really been focusing on increasing the variety and also the quality of footwear that I have. And for me, you guys, honestly, it's made a tremendous difference when it comes to just how confident and stylish that I feel. So starting off with a pair which has been on my wish list for many, many years, and it is the classic and iconic Chanel two-tone slingbacks. Now I actually got these in a size 36 and I do slip out of these in terms of the little slingback strap there. However, when I tried the half size down, it was way too tight um, in terms of the sort of toe area or footbed there. So I do have to wear these with a pair of half insoles just to make sure that the strap doesn't slip down. Some things I love about these are just the combination of the beige with the black. They do have that sort of leg lengthening effect. And I also love that we've also got a little block heel there. So it definitely gives me as a petite that much needed height boost. And I think that they're a really classic and feminine style. I know a lot of people don't like the design of these, um, but I absolutely adore them. And as a huge Chanel fan and addict, these were definitely a must have. So really happy that I do have them in my collection. If you guys want me to do a review on these, let me know in the comments below. The next pair is one of my most worn shoes ever and I've only had them sort of I think within the last year so that really says a lot. They are the Gucci Princetown Loafer Mules and just so much that I love about this pair of shoes. Obviously the design is incredibly easy to wear, you just slip them on and off. I love the fact that the leather is super, super soft. I've gotten heaps of wear out of them, so you guys can probably see the sort of wrinkles that we've got there on the top. Um, but being in such a neutral and versatile colour, I find that I get use out of these basically all throughout the year except during the winter months. In terms of sizing, I did go a half size down. I wouldn't recommend you to do that. The only reason I did that was because my normal size wasn't available and I was set on getting them in this particular colorway. Having said that, I found that because the leather has given, um, my foot is now sort of just, um, it's not on the edge, it's slightly less. Um, but Gucci do recommend that if you want this particular style of shoes to go half size up. So if you can, I'd recommend that. But absolutely love these shoes and yeah, one of the best purchases I've ever made. Moving on to a pair which is perfect for summertime and it is the Hermes Oran sandals. Now these I think I've also had for about a year. There was no breaking in period with them. I found the leather was super soft but it has definitely softened up particularly this year. I'd say that these are true to size. I can't actually see what size I got because the um, cobbler has put the leather protecting sole over the size so I will have to have a look at the receipt and put that up on screen but I would say that these are true to size um, and in terms of versatility they just go wonderfully with any sort of summer outfit that I have because I did get them in a neutral shade they come in a rainbow of shades as well so if you want to inject a bit of color then you'll be sure to find one that suits you and your wardrobe but definitely well worth the price I paid they haven't really shown a lot of wear so on the front, they're still in really, really good condition. Um, I will say that if you are thinking of getting these, definitely you will need to get the um, cobbler to put these protective shoe grips on there because the leather sole that it has was just so soft that after the first time I wore it, I could just tell that they weren't going to last unless I got this protective sole put on. So definitely something to consider. I have tried on the Tribute sandals from YSL just out of interest and I found that I didn't really feel that 
my foot was going to stay in the sandal if that makes sense these I feel a lot more secure in and I think that's because the leather upper comes down a bit lower on the foot compared to the tribute ones so just something to consider if you are umming and ahhing between those two pair of sandals so the next pair is something which is perfect for spring or summer and it is these little quilted lambskin mules from Chanel with a really unique cone shaped block heel so I got these in the size 36 I would say that they are true to size there hasn't been any sort of breaking in um, period with these the lambskin on the upper is really really soft and when I saw that Chanel came out with these for their spring summer 2022 collection I knew that I had to pick up a pair I have actually done an unboxing of these and I talked about how originally I wanted to get these in the light blue pair um, I did try the sort of light pink on in store as well but when I saw that they had the white I just knew that these were going to be a lot easier and versatile to style um, but yeah just a, a really sweet pair of shoes and definitely something which is very feminine for spring and summertime. So moving on to a pair which I really reach for during autumn and winter the most and it is the Gucci Jordan loafers. Now again these are ones that I think I picked up last year so I have had them for a year now I'm pretty sure. They haven't shown a lot of signs of wear. I am pretty careful with them and again with most of my footwear purchases I will get the protective um, shoe grips put on at the cobbler so that just tends to extend or prolong the life of my shoes particularly with the designer luxury shoes I'm purchasing if I'm spending that much money on them I'm going to want to do everything I can to prolong the amount of wear I can get so these so so comfortable honestly as soon as I put these on tried them on in store I knew that I had to purchase them they are a shoe that I will happily repurchase for the rest of my life if I can um, I love that they add that sort of preppy masculine vibe to any outfit they're so versatile I would wear these to the office I'd wear them on the weekend as well wear them whilst traveling very very comfortable to walk in the types of shoes you can wear all day and in terms of sizing I would say you probably want to consider going a half a size down so I got these in a size 36 and they fit perfectly on me so 100% would recommend these if you are thinking of purchasing them. The next pair of luxury designer shoes are ones that I haven't really gotten a lot of wear out of. They are the Valentino Rockstars and I got these in the highest heel height and in a really light neutral colorway. So I bought these with the intention of wearing them when I'm sort of going out or, or for events. So they're definitely not that sort of everyday style of shoe like the, the loafers um, or the leather slides. Um, I am glad that I purchased them and I think that they'll do me well for many years. In terms of sizing, I would say these are true to size. So I got these in a size 36 and a half, which is my regular shoe size. I picked these ones up in the paint and leather um, and the reason for that was purely because I liked the colour but I think one of the great things about the paint and leather is that they don't tend to show signs of wear as much compared to the calfskin or lambskin leather and they're also a lot easier to clean as well and again as always got the, um, the shoe protective shoe grips on by the cobbler so that's the probably the highest pair of heels that I have in my um, shoe collection and yeah they're just really really pretty with the the rock studs I know they're not for everyone but I always wanted a pair so I am really happy that I have these in my collection so next up is a pair of shoes which I've recently repurchased in a different size and it is the Chanel classic ballet flats in the beige with the black cap toe I have had the, the soles put on recently um, now these I absolutely love these are one of my most worn um, shoes in my entire wardrobe so the other pair I had was a half size too small but I still got a ton of use out of them the calfskin leather is so soft so comfortable no breaking in period with these in terms of sizing I sized up half size so these are 36 and a half if I wear them on their own, I do slip out of them. So I do need to have a um, pair of half insoles in these just to make sure that I'm not slipping out of them. 
Um, but I also have enough room in terms of the, the top here because that was the problem with the smaller half size down. Due to the design and color, it has that leg lengthening effect, which I really, really need. So a beautiful pair of shoes that I can wear to the office. I ha did wear my other pair a lot to work, um, but also on the weekend and whilst traveling as well. So the next pair of shoes I purchased specifically with the intention of wearing them to the office, and they are the Avara Bow Pumps from Ferragamo. Now I got these ones with the little block heel, but they do also come in a flat version. I'm sorry if you can hear a noise outside, it is some type of bird, um, and it's just having a, a conversation or, or letting its thoughts be known, so sorry about that. But these shoes um, I find a little bit tricky when it comes to sizing. So I got these in a size six and a half, which is my normal size. However, I slip out of them if I don't wear the half insole. I did try on the half size down, um, but I found that to be definitely too tight. So sizing can be a little bit tricky. If I have one regret with these, it would be the fact that I got these in the patent leather. So I think that the lambskin or calfskin leather would have been a little bit more comfortable because it has more give compared to the paint and leather. However, I had my heart set on this particular colorway. So that's why I ended up going with the paint and leather. But, but I think that they are a perfect shoe, particularly for the office or if you're gonna be doing a little bit of walking compared to say a um, higher heel. And they're really sweet with the signature Ferragamo bow on the front as well. So moving into the next category, which is more of that premium high street um, footwear sort of selection. So this pair of shoes I've had since I think 2018. Um, they are a pair of knee-high leather boots and these have the pointy toe there and in terms of the heel, it is a um, sort of really solid stable block heel there. So these are amazing quality. I think they probably would have cost about maybe three or four hundred Australian dollars, but definitely well worth it. These are from Joe Mercer and I got these in a size 37. So I did decide to go half a size up and I would recommend that particularly with boots because obviously you're going to be wearing these with, with socks or potentially with stockings. So you just want to have that little bit of extra room to allow for the socks that you're going to be wearing. Um, but these are great. They have worn really well and I haven't had any protective shoe grips put on these so I probably should have that done. Um, but definitely a lovely pair of boots and I really love wearing these with jeans tucked in during the cooler season. So keeping in with the boot theme, the next pair I have is a pair from Penelope Chilvers, which is a British footwear brand. These are flat boots with the Goodyear sole, and they're in that really sort of rich, deep brown cognac colour. I got these in a size 36, and I would say that they are true to size. I definitely did have um, enough room in the footbed. One thing I will say about these is that the leather does have to give over time. So the more that you wear them, the more flexible it's going to be, particularly down here. And also I've noticed that the backs are starting to drop a bit as well, which is good because these come sort of right up to um, where my knee is at the back of the leg. So definitely boots that you need to wear in over time. I think the great thing, particularly about this style that I love, is that it came with the removable tassels. So you can attach it to this part here if you want that sort of additional flourish. Um, but I sort of wear them mainly without them. Um, but they are really lovely and they do have that sort of gusset at the back which does stretch. So these will definitely conform to the shape of your legs and calves, which is amazing. So moving on from boots to something that's a little bit more warm weather appropriate and it is a pair of espadrilles. So I got these ones from Castagna and I decided to get these in the 60 millimeter height. So they do have multiple sort of height versions and in terms of sizing, I picked these up in a size 37. Now I think in terms of sizing, I would say either go with your size or a size up half a size. The reason I did that is because I thought in warm weather my foot tends to sort of swell up a little bit so that would mean that I'd still have um, enough room here without 
getting too uncomfortable. These aren't a pair of shoes which I really have gotten a lot of wear out of, at least not as much as what I would have thought I would have by now. These aren't just really a pair of shoes that I'm naturally drawn to. I would definitely choose to wear leather sandals or mules or ballet flats over the espadrilles. So not a shoe that I'd be looking to repurchase. I'm glad that I didn't sort of go with um, one of the luxury designer espadrilles. Um, these were quite affordable. So I haven't sort of really lost too much money in purchasing a shoe that I'm not really getting a lot of wear out of. But it is nice to have this in my wardrobe as an option and maybe they're just a shoe that I sort of need to um, get a little bit more creative with when it comes to styling. If you guys have espadrilles or if you love them, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below because, yeah, I just don't really reach for these as much as what I thought I would. Next up is a pair of sneakers and this is a pair of sneakers from... I think it's an Italian brand called Koyo. Now, I really like these ones. They do have that sort of suede lining there. They're obviously in a really sleek or white design. If I had one regret about these, I'd say that I probably felt a little bit more of a slimmer style of shoe would have suited me more. So they did seem really, really slim on the website. However, I have seen a pair of sneakers at Lacoste that look a little bit more slimmer and I think would probably suit me more. But these are definitely amazing quality. Um, I'd say that they are true to size. So if you are considering getting a pair of these, either go with your normal size or potentially size up half a size but they are super super comfortable um, and yeah you really can't go wrong with a, a nice pair of sneakers in your shoe wardrobe. So moving from a pair of shoes I rarely wear to a pair of shoes that I've gotten a ton of wear out of and these are these heels. I got them in two different colors. These are looking a little bit worse for wear because I've worn these more um, but honestly these are some of the most comfortable pairs of heels that I've ever had. They have that block heel there and the leather is just super, super soft, incredibly comfortable. I got this pair first and I wore these all the time to work and on the weekends as well. They're so comfortable that I did decide to pick them up in the black. So these are the Nikki heels from Nine West and in terms of sizing, I got these in my regular size, so a size six and a half and yeah just absolutely amazing i did get the leather soles put on the beige pair um and i'm glad that i did do that they are definitely showing signs of wear so i'll show you guys you can probably see there that that's definitely got a lot of wear there these are definitely a pair of heels that i will be repurchasing and they're super affordable as well so absolutely love these and you'll probably see me wearing these a lot in all of my um, styling and um, clothing related outfit videos so absolutely love them and definitely well worth the money I paid for them. Another pair of heels which I've worn to the office a ton are uh, these ones again from Nine West these are the Martini heels so they are sort of the lower heel height um, they have a similar style to this but in a much higher heel height so I find that that is doable in terms of heels for work. Very, very classic, simple pair of black heels. These are really soft, so the leather definitely is comfortable to wear. In terms of sizing, I went half a size down in these. So I got these in a size 6. Um, and I think that this is part of um, their permanent collection when it comes to heels. So absolutely love them. They are definitely showing a little bit of wear on the tip there. So I do need to polish them up a little bit, um, but absolutely love them and just well worth the price I paid in terms of cost per wear. Next category is more of the high street shoes. So more of the affordable range. And the first pair I got is from a brand called Aldo. These are a pair of black block heel ankle boots. And I actually sized up in these. So these are a European size 37 and I'm usually a 36 and a half. But again, to just have that extra room for when you're wearing socks. I haven't gotten a ton of use out of these. 
I don't really reach for ankle boots a lot. I just don't really like the way that they look when I'm wearing dresses or skirts. I am quite short and I feel that these sort of cut me off a little bit. However, I think that they are a great option with trousers or jeans. The next pair of shoes is one that I purchased a few years ago and I actually purchased these before I got the Gucci loafers because I wanted to be sure that this was a style of shoe that I would love and that would work for me. So it is a pair of loafers. These are from a brand called Midas and these are incredibly comfortable. I think it's due to the shape of the footbed here so it is quite wide. They're in that sort of lovely um, light beige colorway which you're probably noticing I really do love. And they have that sort of um, little fringing effect here with the bows. They are in a patent leather um, but the inner part of it is incredibly soft. So although these weren't um, sort of like a luxury shoe design purchase, they were incredibly affordable. They're also so, so, so comfortable. So these were definitely one of the, the best buys I've made. And because I love these so much and I did wear them a lot, that is what then sort of made me feel confident enough to go and invest in the Gucci Jordan loafers and later on the Princeton loafers. So I think if you are considering purchasing a designer um, style of shoe that you haven't um, had in your shoe wardrobe before maybe trying out sort of a more affordable option is a really good way to do sort of like a test run and see whether it's actually going to work for you your lifestyle and your personal style if you did like today's video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i hope you guys are having an amazing weekend no matter where you are in the world and i'll see you next weekend with a brand new video Bye.